Hi everybody, Kelvin here from London. I review all kinds of stereo equipment and uh, I'm gonna do a review today of this thing here. A real uh, humdinger from the from 80, 1989 actually. Monsterly engineered CD player. So we're gonna do the features. I'll show you inside actually. I'll move these and show you the the, the uh, insides because it's quite extraordinary I mean this thing weighs 17 kilos yes this one weighs four kilos I'm not going to bother showing you inside of this I mean this thing just seems like a, a you know seems like a Snickers wrapper <laughs> compared to this thing and at the uh, and then when we've done looked at all that we'll do a sound thing I've compared a sound I've done a sound comparison of all three including this streamer. So, okay, let's just uh, do all the statistics and features and stuff. So this is Sony X7ESD from 1989. Um, interesting thing I wanna sort of just ask as well about this, about costs, yeah? Because when I investigate the cost of this secondhand, obviously, uh, it seems to have gone from a few years ago around two to four hundred pounds, yeah, uh, to the present day, like well over a thousand pounds, yes. There's actually someone trying to sell one of these on eBay. It was all written in German, but it's one of these. Uh, four thousand euros. 4,000 euros is probably equates to about, uh, I think, 3,000 pounds, roughly, roughly. So probably just roughly, say, $3,000, yeah? So I'm a bit intrigued as to why anyone would pay that much money for something that's from 1989. It's got so much stuff in it, you know, that it could go wrong and, and never work again. Um, the thing, the point I'm trying to make here is, it's like these things are are becoming like antiques. It's literally becoming like an antique, and it, and maybe even if it didn't work, it'd still be worth money. You know, so it's it's like a I don't know. It seems like things have entered into a slightly different realm. But tell me what you think because that's what I'm seeing well, that's what i think is going on but anyway back to this thing it's got fantastic build quality if i the way this door open and closes is just lovely yeah uh, but like a load of uh, cd players what is this for this fantastic bit of kit close you just have to tap it because there's some I don't think it's a loose connection. It's like it's sli it's it slides on magnets. I don't know what it does, but anyway, it doesn't close properly. Like, uh, but all we have to do is tap it, not even push it. You could probably tap the table and it would work. In fact, I'm going to try it. Hang on. Okay. Oh, it worked. I mean, I hit it harder that time. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm going to move these. We we'll look inside. I'll show you the back. Show you all the features. Okay. So, let's have a look in here. So, if we come in here, you'll see this, what does it say? Sony Digital, Sony Audio. These, these have got these little foam things around them. I mean, I do not know this is some kind of, that's the balanced outputs, I believe. I don't know all about CD players, but I'm sure you guys do. And you can just see the uh, the quality. And this chassis, is that copper brass that the whole thing's made of? You see that in there? So I'll take you around slowly in case anyone wants to sort of recognize or be able to comment I'll give you a good look at all that. Now, 
anyway and there's our mechanism there so we'll go along the front here and i'll just show you so that actual thing there that uh line out that's your headphones and the adjustable output yes there we go along here uh, eight times four was it 45 times over sampling let's turn it on let's turn it on sorry you can see that down there. and we have here a uh, digital analog output okay let's have a look at the back because that's also interesting so there we have it and here's our outputs balanced outputs that's the fixed and variable which I spoke about earlier with the uh, adjuster on the front. The fixed one sounds better because it doesn't go through that, you know, that volume pot on the front. Definitely sounded better. And uh, coaxial, coaxial and optical. Okay, so, you know, 17, 18 kilos worth. So, okay, let's do the sound, what does it sound like? So I did a comparison with this Arcam and this streamer. I kind of did them a little bit separately, but you'll see. So first song I did, I did this one and this one using a song called Too High by Stevie Wonder. So what happened? Let me, I'll just read from my notes. So first thing is this Sony it's just it's just got higher definition yes um you know it's quite clearly giving you more information tighter detail and it's nice and cohesive it's nice and solid yeah this is the big thing and the the impression you get after trying this on different speakers i mean i was listening on headphones a lot some nice grado headphones about 180 pounds worth and I was using a power amp of my Sansui AU317 and a Lin Wakanda preamp. And I find that combination, it's, it's very pleasing. It seems to make most things sound good. Uh, but so listening there, I've just got higher definition, higher clarity. You need a reasonably good system to exploit, say, the differences of these two. You know, you need, you need at least, say, 500, 700, 800 pound speakers new. Because, you know, if you're going down, if you're getting small and you're not getting great definition, it would be kind of wasted. It would. But, you know, if you get, if you're into nice gear, you're going to then, you know, it will reveal itself very clearly. So let, let's carry on. So on that song, tighter bass, just higher definition. And on this Arcam, uh, seems less controlled. Snare drum is a bit fatter. Yeah, the k is a bit more of a duh. And I've never noticed that before on this Arcam. It always sounded fine to me, snare drums, which I'm really tuned into snare drums. But uh, this was just better and nicer. It's quite... Um, voices are quite intimate and nice. I don't know how to put it, but it has an effect. Sort of, it's a little bit valvey and it's a little bit vinyl. Yeah, it's not like half vinyl, half valvey. Uh, but it doesn't have any of that kind of digital edge or gloss or brightness. You know, it's really, you know, it's, uh, it's very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. Um, the Arcam, the bass was a bit more forward. There's actually more bass on this Arcam, but of course it wasn't so good. But it was just sort of, there was more of it. It was like someone turned the bass up a bit. The bass was fatter, not so defined, but the bass was lovely and uh, defined. What did I put here? The Arcam is not dull by comparison but it's just not so refined 
It's just not so detailed and good. And I mean, why should it be this second-hand market? Probably 100, 150 pounds. This second-hand market, 1,000, could be 1,500 pounds, which seems like an awful lot to me. Um, then what I did, so I then really, I did uh, a comparison with this and the streamer using its own DAC, by the way. Um, I play in this song, album, New Boots and Panties by Ian Jury and the Blockheads, yeah, from the late 80s. And it's the master copy on Tidal. So this is pretty much the best Tidal has to offer, sound quality wise, yeah. And this CD player. I didn't use the Arcam with that one. So what happened there? What happened there was, one second, yeah. First thing, straight off the bat, I wanna say, not a massive difference. Not like, no night and day between that and that. Not at all, not at all. The differences were, this sounds more digital. This sounds more clinical. This sounds more, cohesive kind of a little bit nicer kind of a little bit more friendly uh what did i put here um the sony this has more grip in the bass than the streamer had on that record the streamer is more analytical and the vocals were better on here i definitely preferred this i definitely preferred this there's something enjoyable about this so what I'm just going to say here, just a bunch of things to give you the picture about what this thing sounds like. I mean, the more I think about it, I can see why people that have got this want to keep it and probably don't want to change it for anything because it, it pretty much hits the mark, you know? It doesn't do anything wrong. So that might be why you can't buy them or you have to spend a fortune to get them because people don't want to sell them and if they do they kind of everyone wants it i mean i'm guessing here but uh let me okay let's just go through it here first thing i'm saying here you need a good speakers and a system to reveal and capitalize on this compared to that certainly but uh, uh it's enjoyable it's tireless listening you won't get tired of this I put here, do I want it? Yes. This isn't mine, by the way. It belongs to a friend of mine. He lent it to me. But do I want it? Yeah, I want it. I want it. It makes me want it. The build quality and there's something comforting and relaxing about getting the sound pretty dead right and it being a little bit sort of intimate and it's problem-free sound. When I say uh, intimate, I just mean... The voices in the middle are very sort of nice and uh, that's where it's like vinyl, the voice in the middle. Just sort of, you really can tune into the voice. That's a real pleasure and it's just relaxing. You just, second I'm playing this, I just, well, all I'm thinking about next is what's the next record? What's the next song I'm gonna play? You know, just, just does that. Doesn't turn on your analytical brain which that does a bit. Comparatively, this doesn't turn on your analytical brain. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's probably it. Cohesive, tight bass. Okay, I think I've said everything about it. You know, it, it's a combination of some really nice sound and some, you know, build quality that just is lovely to use. It's just lovely to use it and, uh, you know, it's somehow it just makes music enjoyable when you've got something as solid as this and, and it delivers sonically the way it does. Is it worth all that money? Well, the public decide. Maybe that's the best thing I should say. If the public think it's worth it, then what can you say? That's supply and demand. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye for now.